A Syrian refugee family in search of a better life in southeast Michigan experienced a roadblock when family member, four-year-old Jad Akaldri, had a medical emergency. That's a seizure. You have to take him to the hospital right away because he's not responding. That advice from a medical professional led the family to the emergency room at Corwell Health. Jad's mom, who speaks in her native tongue, allows her daughters to tell the family story. Since we've seen this case happen twice before with my two older other brothers, um, she was hoping to see an answer. That's right. The family had experienced this medical crisis before, and it's believed the family lost two babies to the same disorder when they were still living in Syria. And they did not want Jad to suffer the same fate. Doctors at Corwell Health were determined that the toddler would survive. They tried many different medications. He had more seizures until this went, until she talked to Dr. Nolan. That's when she tried many medicines, and he, they were able to find the one that would stop the seizures. After Jad didn't respond to our first couple of medications. And then when I found out about the family history, immediately I reached out to the hospital in order to pursue this rapid genetic testing, which was a new, really new um, diagnostic tool. The results allowed Dr. Nolan to alter Jad's medication. We were able to give Jad specific vitamins. His seizures stopped. He dramatically improved. He woke up started eating again, it was amazing. The family is grateful that Corwell pursued all options for their loved one, and they gathered Friday to give Dr. Nolan and the team at Corwell a heartfelt thank you. After he took that medicine, he, my mom realized that he kind of went, he got his life back. And the family hopes by sharing their story, it will help raise awareness to save someone else. It's kind of our job to kind of spread awareness and see if we can help other people. In Southfield, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.